Hello everyone, my name is Hitesh and I welcome you all to TradeBrain's YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, please comment, like and subscribe on our videos and please don't forget to press the bell notification icon so as and when we publish new content, you get a notification straight onto your device. Now through this video, we are going to be explaining exactly how do you trade or how do you buy or sell stock on the web application of Zerodha, that is the kite application of Zerodha. I'll be teaching you exactly how do you buy a stock, how do you sell a stock, how do you place an order for the stock, how do you place the stop loss for the stock or how do you place an OCO order that is if I put a stop loss and a target for a position in the market so if one is triggered then the other is pulled from the market. So I'll be covering all those aspects of trading on the web application of Zerodha. So let us jump right into the explanation of that. So first thing you have to do is just go onto the web of Zerodha which I've already opened here on the screen here and you add the stock which you want to buy or sell. Say for the sake of explanation, I'll be taking the example of ICICI bank shares. So I, all I do is I just plug in the ICICI bank code here. I select that and supposedly if I want to buy that right now. So right now it's trading at a price of 368 rupees per share and I'm looking to buy one share. Now there are two ways of buying it. Either you buy MIS. What does MIS mean? MIS means margin intraday square off. So if what, ha what happens by that is if I bought a stock of say ICICI bank right now, so before the market is closed for the day, it will automatically execute the order on the screen by taking a counter position of sell in the market and the other way to do is cash and carry that is CNC. So what happens through CNC is that I take the delivery of the stock. So supposedly if I have bought the stock at the current price in the market, so the stock stays in my basket as long as I want to hold it. And that is the major difference between MIS and CNC. For MIS the stock has to be, the stock gets exit at the end of the day and for CNC it is in the order book or it is in the positions of my trading account as long as I want to hold them. The another difference which happens while trading through MIS or CNC is this. If I have to buy one shares by a cash and carry or the delivery method, I have to pay the exact amount or that is the amount or I have to keep exactly that amount of margin in my account. But if I have to do through MIS, you see the margin required here which changes to 73.60. So the margin required in general is normally one fifth to one sixth of the exact price of the stock because that is the amount of variation which can happen in the price of that stock for that particular day and the position will get squared off at the end of the day. So if I want to do a leverage trading then MIS that then MIS makes sense because I will get to trade more shares but the disadvantage is that I have to square the position at the end of the day and if I want delivery of my shares then I can I, I'll need exactly the same amount of margin which I need to buy the stock. So let me explain you how to buy a stock here. I'll be using the method of delivery CNC because that is the most common method of trading which is being used by traders worldwide or throughout India. Then after choosing CNC, I have two options. Either to buy the stock at the market price that is the current existing offer in the market or I have an option to choose the price at which I want to buy the stock. Say the current price of ICICI bank is 367.80 as mentioned here. And I want to place an order of limit that is I want to buy the shares only when the share price comes down to say 360 rupees. That is the price at which I want to buy the stock. So once I do that all I have to do is just click the buy button and the, and the order goes into my order book. That is as the price at which I want to buy is 360 and the LTP is the last trade price of the stock that is 367.90. And now supposedly if I am saying that the market doesn't look like coming there and I want to buy exactly at the market price only. So all I do is just go to modifying the order and I make it as a market order here. So the current offer that is the current best offer is 367.90. I just go and click on that and I modify the order. So the order has been bought that is one share of ICICI bank has been bought at the price of 367.90 and which I can see from the position which I am holding right now. That is I have one share of ICICI bank at 367.90 and the current price is 367.85 or 90. And you can see the PNL fluctuations for that happening on the screen there itself. Now the other things which we need to understand is that how do I place a stop loss for the trade or, or how do I put a target for the trade. Now the first thing which we need to understand that have I bought this trade for the purpose of trading or I want to hold it for a certain period of time. If I want to put hold it for a certain period of time, I just need to place a stop loss for the same. All I go to do is I go on the option of exit here 
and I choose the option of stop loss. Now stop loss again is of two types, the limit stop loss and the market stop loss. So what happens in limit stop loss is this, I choose the price at which I want it to be triggered. That is if the share price of say ICICI bank comes down to 358 and the trigger price for, my, for me is say 358. So only when the price is at 358, it will trigger the order for me in the market and I put a stop loss for that same on the screen. Now if you go to the order book, you see the trigger pending here status and the price at which I want to exit the market. Now we have to understand what is exactly a market stop loss. Now again I go to my position in the market and I try to put a exit order and I put a stop loss market. Now if you remember, in the stop loss, that is the limit stop loss, there's option of price and the trigger. But in the option, but in case of stop loss market, there's option of only trigger price. So what happens here is this: if I put a say stop loss of 358, and if the as and when the market comes to 358, it will hit the existing bid in the market. It won't wait for 358. If the next bid is at 356 only, it, it will exit at 356. But in case of a limit stop loss, it will wait for 358 price. It will just place an order at 358. So as and when the market comes to 358 again, after going down it again, if it comes back up again, it will execute, execute at 358. So at limit stop loss, I choose the price at which I want to exit and I'll get exit at the exact same price. But in case of a stop loss, the exit will happen at the prevailing market price. But what happens with this market stop loss is that you don't have the fear or you don't have to worry about the order being hanging in the market and the market continuously keeps falling and never comes back up. It will exactly ex it will execute at the price at which at which you want to exit. But in case of a limit stop loss, you will exit at the price which you have predecided and the market will wait for the price to happen. So how do I choose whether to take a limit stop loss or a market stop loss? So in case of a high beta stock, that is the stocks which move a lot during the day, it is advised to use a market stop loss. But in case of low beta stocks, that is the stocks which have a very narrow range or tight range for the day, it is advised to use the limit stop loss. So that is one rational based on which you choose a limit stop loss or a market stop loss. Now the next important feature here is this, if I want to place a GTT order, that is what happens to GTT is this, you create an OCO order. What is the full form of OCO? OCO means one cancels other. So you have either, you put both stop losses and target price for the trades which you have in the market. So if the target price is achieved, then the stop loss order is pulled from the market. But in case, say, if your stop loss gets triggered, then even the target price is being pulled from the market. So you don't have a hanging order in the market. As in when one trade is executed, the other gets pulled from the market. And that is one very good feature of this web because I don't worry, have to worry about that if I put a stop loss and a, and a target order for the market. What happens if a stop loss is triggered then my target order is still there, I'll be having a counter position. You don't worry, have to worry about that factor. As in when your stop loss or as in when your profit is achieved, the other, the other leg is pulled out from the market. So for the current existing price share of ICICI Bank, I have the current trading price is 367 and I say I put a stop loss at 349.55. And I choose the trigger price to be again 349.55. And say what my profit target is, say my profit target for that is say 390 rupees. So as in when the price comes to 390, that's my target for that. And my trigger price also is 390 for that. And I place an order for that in the market. Now how do I check whether the order is put or not? You go to the orders and you click, click, click on the GTT orders. So you see here that the trigger price for you is 349, that is the stop loss price for you is 349 and your target is 390. So whichever is achieved first in the market, it will pull the other order from the market. That is how you use a GTT from the market. So I hope this video gave you a nice information about how do you trade in the market and how do you put a buy a stock on the website of Zerodo, how do you put a stop loss, how do you put a profit order, how do you create a GTT order in the market. If you have any more queries about these kind of features on the web, please put your queries in the comment section. I'll be more than glad to answer them. I hope you like the video and I'll see you in the future videos of financial education. Thank you so much for your patient hearing.